diversified its portfolio into solar power business. Abhay Kumar Singh, NHPC Limited Chairman and MD. I sincerely hope that you all and your family are keeping yourself healthy and safe these days amidst the global health crisis, and let us hope that the entire world gets rid of this at the earliest. For, the board had adopted Q1 financial results for the period ended June 30, 2020, in its meeting held on 31 August 20. The same has already been communicated to exchange by now, I hope you all would have got chance to go through the quarterly set of numbers. First, I will just touch upon major highlights. Number 1, during Q1 F1, F21, our power stations have achieved generation of 8,113,000,000 units versus 8,581,000,000 units generated in corresponding period of the previous year, excluding infirm power of 94 million unit of per body, II power station during Q1 F21, which is about 5% lower, that is 468 million units, which is mainly due to shutdown of the two units of Shamara, II power stations, which are under restoration, and the lower water availability. Our puff for Q1 F20, 1 stands at 90.98% against the corresponding, previous period puff of 90.97%, which is almost flat. During Q1 F21, company has earned revenue from operation of in our 2500, 19 crore as against 2,421 crore, in corresponding previous period, which is about 4% higher, that is in our 98 crore. During Q1 F21, we have earned PAT of in our 723 crore versus 80, in our 881 crore corresponding period, which is down by in our 158 crore, that is 18% approximate. On physical front, we have shared the active construction work at Subansiri Lower Project has been fully resumed with effect from 15th October 2019, after a clearance by Honorable NGT on 31 July 19. However, due to COVID-19 complete shut, lockdown work at site was on hold during the period of 24 March 2020 to 20 April 2020. Again, resumed with effect from April 21, 2020 with deployment of required manpower. However, we are trying our best to complete the project by fee 2024. We have already shared that Unit 1 and 2 of Perbati II projects were got synchronized on foreign language, 28 April 2020 and 29 April 2020, respectively. Further Unit 3 and Unit 4 200 megawatt each of Perbati hydroelectric project were also synchronized with the grid on 6 July and 7 July 2020, respectively. We are trying to complete the remaining tunneling work with the help of TBM and DBM, both to complete the project by fee 22. In respect of Debong multipurpose project 2880 megawatt where forest clearance, Stage II approval has been granted an investment approval towards pre-investment activities, for in or 1,600 crore obtained. PIB memo for the implementation of the project has been submitted to Ministry of Power on 10 July 2020. In respect of Jal Power Corporation Rangit project, 120 megawatt in Sikkim where NHPC has emerged as a successful bidder with a bid of in or 165 crores. NHPC requested resolution professional to explore the possibility of expediting the matter with the Honorable NCLT Hyderabad for approval of resolution plan. In this regard, application for urgent hearing was allowed by NCLT on 26 June 2020. In the recent hearing held on 31 July 2020, the matter was discussed in detail, but the order has been reserved. Reply to the comments of various agencies and draft PIB memo for implementation of the project has been submitted by NHPC. An MOU has been signed on 22 June 2020, with Hydropower Investment and Development Company Limited, Hidkil, Nepal for development of hydropower projects in Nepal. Further, NHPC is also keen to participate in the proposed, Dorjilung 1125 megawatt, and Shankosh 2585 megawatts hydroelectric project in Bhutan. In the respect of Ratal hydroelectric project, JNK, 850 megawatt, 
an MOU was signed on the March 2, 2019 on, for implementing through a JV between NHPC and Jack ASPDC. In this regard, PIB meeting already held on 9 March 2020, and recently meeting was conveyed by advisor on the, through Honorable Prime Minister on 1 August 2020, and discussed the same, and discussed the issue associated with implementation of Ruttle Hydroelectricity Project. Again, a meeting has been fixed on 7th of September for the PIB. An MOU was signed on 25-9-19 with the Government of Himachal Pradesh for execution of Dagar Hydroelectric Project, 449 MW, by NHPC on both basis for a period of 70 years. The DPR of the project prepared by the earlier developer of the project, Messrs. DHPI has been taken over and a joint site widget has been conducted recently by officials from NHPC and Messrs. DHPI. The updation of DPR is under process and is expected to be prepared and submitted by the end of this year. NHPC has diversified its portfolio and includes solar power business and has given letter of award to solar power developers for interstate transmission system, ISTS grid connected photovoltaic projects aggregating to 2000 MW installed capacity. A power sale agreement has been signed on 28 August 2020 with Madhya Pradesh. Power Management Company Limited, MPPIM for procurement of 1000 MW solar power at the tariff in R2.55 kW per hour for 25 years on long-term basis. NHPC has signed SAW for 1300 MW power state discom out of 2000 MW, and SAW for balanced power, is likely to be signed shortly. NHPC are trading margin at the rate on INR. 0.7 kW per hour during the contract period. NHPC has signed PIPA with Eden Renewable Posse, Private Limited for 300 MW and Ultra, Jergi Power Private Limited 380 MW Solar Power on 31 August 2020. PIPA for 66 MW Loktak Downstream Hydroelectric Project has been signed with the Government of Manipur by our subsidiary company, Loktak Downstream Hydropower Limited yesterday only. NHPC has been allotted the state of Telangana, Odisha and JNK for development of floating solar power projects, under Ultra Mega Renewable Energy, Power Parks Scheme for, from M. MOU signed with the Odisha 500 MW on foreign language, 20 July 2020, and MOU with the Telangana for 500 MW is under consideration for approval. Besides that we are also in the process of development of 50 MW floating solar power projects in Kerala, 114 MW solar power in Odisha and 600 MW ground mounted solar project in the state of Rajasthan. We are also in discussion with the state government of Rajasthan for development of solar power projects of 1,200 MW capacity in the state under AMREP.